Welcome to video number five in the Mind Mapper training series. Today we'll have a look at using tables and other directions for clarity. My name is Arjen Terhoeven and I'm the founder of Mind Maps Unleashed and Carefree Mind, the places where you learn how to remove the noise from your head and environment and create a carefree mind. Wouldn't you like to have that as well? So many people have so many worries in their head and in their lives and I thought I can help people using for instance a tool like mind mapping uh, to create a more carefree mind so that's what I started to do a couple of years ago but anyway you're not looking uh, right now for the carefree mind although it would probably be something that will help you uh, but you are looking for more information on how to use mind mapper well today we'll have a look at the different directions of mind mapping and tables. Uh, a mind map, as I see it, is a different way to look at the same information. And this different way of looking at things creates new insights, new thoughts, new perspectives. And this is what you want, of course. And it's really easy to do this in MindMapper. And the benefit of this is that you can change your perspective literally with the click on a mouse button. Okay, our mind looks at the same information the same way. Not that strange probably to believe because when you go to work, do you use different ways of getting there? Probably not. You use the same route, you use the same means of transportation. You sit at the same places, you work in the same environment our mind loves it to have the same information in the same place. But what happens when something goes wrong? Well, you need to immediately start looking at new ways of solving this problem. What most people then do is try to not solve the problem, but just try to get back to the situation it was before it was a problem. Uh, what you can do as well, of course, is solve the problem and make sure that you grow. Hmm, what a concept. <laughs> um, but what we'll do right now is we'll help you to use MindMapper to look at the same information a different way and that way get a different perspective. You improve the way you look at things and you increase your um, knowledge on that information and that situation. You can also, of course, use it if you just want to find answers to difficult questions, change your perspective, anything you want. Uh, it, by the way, might already work if you just take this mind map that we have, print it, and have a look at it um, from another angle. So you can now, now you are looking at it uh, uh, in a uh, horizontal way. Turn your page 90 degrees and have a look at the same information vertically. Makes it a lot different for your brain. Uh, also easy uh, uh, to, uh, I learned this uh, a while back when I was uh, trying to uh, become a more skilled per, uh, drawer. So I wanted to create nicer pictures in my mind maps on paper. I thought I'll join a class to learn how to draw. Well, it's much easier if you want to um, copy the, um, the portrait of someone if you don't look at it the way you normally do but when you turn it 180 degrees so if you look at it from uh, the top or the bottom of whatever you want it's easier because your mind doesn't recognize it as a portrait it's just something you can uh, duplicate so different perspective different insight, different way of looking at information. In a mind mapper, we can uh, change the perspective of a map by changing the mapping direction. Here's how. Uh, you select the uh, main topic, or any other topic by the way, that doesn't matter. There's a magical button at the top saying mapping directions and here are all the different mapping directions that you can use. You can use it for the entire map or you can just use one branch and for instance outline that to the right or to the bottom or wherever you want to. Uh, 
a number of which are used a lot the round radio one to the right to the left um, Ishikawa or fishbone diagram those are used often uh, the organizational chart of course not all of them are used a lot but some are used more than others for me I usually only use the uh, radio one and the to the right if I really want to change my perspective which I don't do that often I use the other ones and then of the, the one that I use most is the bidirectional hierarchy but let's just uh, pick one for instance for uh, training purposes it might be smarter to go for the to the right so now we have one mind map which we can use for training purposes or presentations and we'll start at the top with the introduction of what we do etc questions at the end and drinks and mingling this is our um, presentation map but what we can also do is we can also do that to the left immediately a different perspective or we can use the rightward hierarchy hierarchy and you have to make sure that all the other information of course is not over your mind map uh, different ways of looking at things uh, one of the ways that is newer not new in 2000 uh, in the 12 version uh, of mind mapper it is there a little bit longer but I don't see many people use it but it's the classic way and this is what it does well this is not what it does of course entirely because now it's just messing up our mind map but as you can see um, the mind map is a little bit more like it could be done on paper so with the curved lines and the words on it etc uh, of course my mind map video link is again in the middle of it uh, relationship lines are a little bit strange now but that happens because the map is outlined a different way I'll just undo what we did by control uh, Z okay here's our map again uh, what you can also do is you use the mapping direction the bidirectional hierarchy click that and what you see now is uh, again the uh, the line is a little bit different for the uh, relationship line perhaps it's easier right now to just remove this one but this again is a different way of looking at the same information and this makes the map different it presents the information in a different way this is different than let me go back this so this compared to this interesting right and that's only because you change the direction of the branches another way you can uh, present the information is by using tables and right now it's ooh, it's not active of course not because we have not selected anything uh, what I can do is I can put this entire thing in a table but I can also say well I want to take the organized branch and put that in a table and now we have a table not a very interesting table so we'll undo this and we'll add some information behind this and here as well let me see go away yes yep. this and this and perhaps a little bit more information behind these branches so, okay well we'll have a bigger branch now we'll create a table set as table and there you go the information is transformed now into a table of course immediately this messes up again but you know you can just remove that another way of looking at the same information again sometimes it's easier to use a table not often but sometimes the easiest way to use um, mind mapper in my opinion is to just use the radio one or the to right these two are the easiest ways to uh, present your information to yourself and your audience and when you do that perspectives change information changes thoughts appear which were not before there um, so 
that's what you can do. Um, if you still find it difficult to uh, get a clear perspective on your information, I would advise you to take this map that you have, create a new map, and start creating your first mind map from memory again. So don't go back and forward and you know, oh, what, what was in the organized branch and what was in the used branch. No, what do you know and what can you uh, build from memory? Because that also lets you think about the information in the map. And it's not just, well, looking in a very passive way. Hmm, yeah, okay. No, it looks the same. Hmm, no, don't know what happens. Hmm. Maybe I'll just change this uh, to this. Oh, no, no different ideas or this. That doesn't matter. Uh, that doesn't work probably for you then as well. But by creating a completely new mind map on memory, uh, on based on your memories, that might help. So test it, try it, and let me know what works for you and what you... Um, accomplished through it because especially in brainstorming sessions or when you're stuck and you don't need or you don't know the answer and you need an answer change the direction of the map um, and let me know what helps uh, what works for you uh, also in um, in studying this is uh, very interesting because it gives you again a different perspective on the same information and Studying is, for most people, just making sure that you remember everything in your map. Well, if you use a different outline of your map, it might help to uh, recall the information. Because you've seen it in different um, outlines, different perspectives. Especially this um, perspectives thing. Something we can talk about in the personal coaching call. Let me know. Uh, go back into your email tool and click on the sign up link. Um, if you don't know uh, what I'm talking about, personal coaching call, what is that? Sign up for the um, training video series, mindmapshop.com, mindmapper videos. And once you did that, I'll make sure that you receive the link for the coaching call. Enjoy your day, enjoy your mind maps, and enjoy your increased clarity and your new perspectives on the information that you created and now understand a lot better. I look forward to working with you, I look forward to hearing from you and you will be hearing from me soon again. Thank you and bye bye.